India's first breathing lung transplantation was carried out at Hyderabad's Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences. A team of doctors at this private hospital had been working for the last six months to perfect this technology. With 80% of the lung transplants in the country happening here, Hyderabad is emerging as the lung transplant capital for the nation. Uma Sudhir met with the team of doctors for this exclusive chat. India's first breathing lung transplant here at Hyderabad's Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences. I have with me the team of doctors who's in fact uh, managed to do this today. Dr. Sandeep Atavar, uh, tell us, uh, first of all, congratulations for having achieved this for India and for India's first patient doing a live uh, lung. What is the difference? What happens in this case? Thank you. Uh, so uh, essentially what we do in a breathing lung is we, we explant the organ from a donor bring it down to the center where we conduct something called organ reconditioning and this is normally done simply because most lungs that appear uh, in, uh, in uh, donated organs have a small degree of dysfunction largely caused by fluid accumulation in the lungs. Some of these lungs could also min have minor infections in them because these patients are on a ventilator for a couple of days. Uh, the other challenges that happen is because these are generally patients who have been ICU bound the lungs have segments that have collapsed. They're not completely expanded. So if you look at it worldwide, out of the 10 organs that are uh, donated, 10 lungs that are donated, maybe four or five of them can be used. The others are wasted. The number of patients waiting for lung transplantation is enormous. So as many donations as you have, and as many lungs that are optimized and available for, for these patients who are suffering from end-stage lung disease, the better it would be. So while we could use four or five lungs uh, easily out of these 10. Unfortunately, the other four or five generally are not usable simply because of logistics, because it's a distant donation, or it could be because of the factors that I just mentioned, extra water in the lung, maybe a little bit of infection, and some areas of collapse of the lung, which does not allow the lung to function like a normal one. What this machine does is, once you put the lung on the machine, you run a nutrient solution which has uh, a high degree of antibiotics that... We are actually inside the operation table and you are telling me, uh, operation theatre, and you are telling me that this is a machine that actually does it, where you have all these tubes connecting the different uh, things. W tell us what it is about. So this is the organ reconditioning box. It's, it's made of perspex and it is, uh, it is uh, hermetically sealed. What it does, it allows through certain ports, you can see them, tubes going in, tubes going out. And there are a couple of things that allow the, the perspiration from the lung to then go back into the organ care system. Once all of this is circulated through the organ, small amounts of blood clots are washed out. Uh, areas of the lung that have not been ventilated adequately are expanded using the ventilator. Antibiotics are administered. All throughout the team of anesthesiologists, surgeons, uh, perfusionists are expanded using the ventilator. Antibiotics are administered. All throughout the team of anesthesiologists, surgeons, uh, perfusionists, would be constant and pulmonologists would be constantly not just toileting the airway by cleaning out all the mucus but they will also be estimating the lung function by testing it every half an hour to one hour seeing how this lung is functioning we also have measures to weigh the organ before and after the treatment that tells us the amount of fluid that has been removed from the lung and so it as i understand it any organ has a particular shelf life and this is able to enhance that yes not just enhancing the organ but prolonging the shelf life so suppose you have a transport time of four hours from a remote location once the organ comes to the center you put it on the box and you recondition it for between four to six hours and once your tests are done and you know this organ is optimum for use you could wheel the recipient into the theater you could prep him up and you save so much of time so all you have wasted is four hours because the remaining six hours the organ is continuously being enhanced at the end of this, you get an organ which is better than the organ you started with. This leads to better outcomes, it leads to greater survival, and it also leads to better long-term recovery after a transplant. And the, these are massive advantages. Uh, we are very fortunate we have the technology and the expertise in India. It normally is limited only to certain centers in the United States, in Canada, and a couple of centers in Europe. 
so uh, by and i'm i'm not surprised at all that it's happening here at kims with this team of doctors because they actually have done maximum numbers of lung transplant anywhere in the country 80% of the lung transplants that are happening in the country are happening in fact uh, at this particular hospital and uh, through the covid period in fact uh, 29 of those transplants were of uh, covid patients and that uh, equals the number in the united states yes some of the best centers in the world that do covid lung transplants have probably done in uh, anywhere between 20 to 30 lung transplants for patients with end stage covid we are very fortunate we have a remarkable team of uh, pulmonologists anesthesiologists young surgeons uh, perfusionists uh, intensivists and so on and so forth so a 50 member team that is completely committed to heart and lung transplantation and this is what they can achieve so it obviously is obviously the expenses with something like this go up but saving an organ is invaluable. Tell us about the cost. Yes. So uh, if, we, if we look at enhancing the organ, yes, unfortunately, it comes with a price. But the, the good point that, I, that we always believe is uh, if, if there's an organ available in Delhi and that organ has to be utilized for somebody in, in a southern city or, or maybe in Hyderabad, the logistics of travel itself sometimes because of inconvenience uh, and unavailability of flights, you have to charter a flight which would cost anywhere between 8 to 12 lakhs of rupees.